and how you can use color to change perceptions subconsciously. So studies show that a product's color has 60 to 80% influence over a customer's purchasing decision. So that just goes to show how much of a really big deal choosing a color is and why you shouldn't just choose a color arbitrarily because you like it. You really need to do your research on what types of colors go with what you're trying to sell and what types of colors have influence over different types of perceptions. What is their meaning? What are the connotations that people People feel um, or infer whenever you get a certain color or a certain item in a certain color. So let's first begin by talking about red. And you can see some really famous brands that have red as a major part of the design. Red gives off the feeling of something very aggressive. So you'll see red a lot in a car type of advertising. So you see that there for Fiat. Um, and Fiat ha really has kept red as a very iconic part of their logo. Um, other car companies nowadays have kind of maybe moved away from red a little bit as far as the actual color of their logo. Um, but other cars like Honda, um, they, they started out with a red logo and now, now really they have kind of more of just gotten away from the red, but that was something they started with. You also see energetic, so that's a, a really great way to show energy. Red's a really powerful color. Red's also provocative um, in that you see, you know, we associate red with a, a color that really evokes a lot of emotion. Um, we also see red in situations where attention is being called to something. So caution. Um, so red is very attention grabbing. Red is also very sexy. That's what we think of when we think of a color um, that says sexy, you think of red. Um, you remember the scene in the matrix, the lady with the red dress. That's just the iconic idea of what sexy means is red. Um, and you see it a lot in food advertising too. I think probably a lot Lot of that is due to the fact that it is energetic and attention grabbing. Um, so we see it so, so often in food logos. Um, and as you can see, a lot of other varied types of logos use this color. It's the second most popular color for a logo, in fact. Purple, you can see there's not as many examples of purple logos here because purple isn't used quite as often because it has a pretty specific meaning. Purple has a feeling of royalty. So we do see um, the Cadbury and the Hallmark really having that idea of the royalty kind of going along with it, especially in Hallmark with the crown. Um, but we also see sophistication with purple, nostalgia, which I really get the nostalgia feeling from um, the LA Lakers logo because it still has a very retro feel to it. They've had that logo um, for quite a while. Um, so I really get the purple nostalgia connotation there. Um, you also get mystery, which I think comes across pretty well for the sci-fi logo. And spirituality, a lot of religious iconography you'll see depicted um, with colors of purple, a lot of the times because of that link to royalty as well. Um, so those are very closely tied together. We also have blue. Now blue is the most popular color for a logo and there's a good reason for that. A lot of the meaning of blue is very, very positive connotation. Um, so trustworthy is one of the first um, things that comes to mind whenever you think of blue. And so it's a great color for most companies. Most companies want to be seen as trustworthy. Blue also is a symbol of security. So we see blue a lot for things like banks um, and things that you want to be secure like data or technology. Um, we see blue as a dependable color, really synonymous with trustworthy and security. We also see blue as responsible. Um, we've got green next, and green has some similar meanings to blue, um, but is a little bit less popular, especially nowadays, I would say, because green has taken on this meaning of this um, 
kind of movement towards clean energy. And so there's so many things being used that are green. Um, but green is a great color for a logo. It depicts wealth. Um, I think a lot of times banks will actually stray away from using green because it is such a powerful connotation. You don't really see a lot of banks with a green logo because you, the first thing you think of a lot of times when you see green is money and it's just so obvious of a choice for a bank um, that blue for a lot of banks is a, is a better choice because that's what they want their customers to think of. They want their customers to think you can trust us with your money instead of just the money aspect. So we see um, green a lot of times in really um, more affluent brands. So we see Land Rover, Lacoste, and Starbucks here being brands that you associate with maybe being more wealthy. We also see it for health, which kind of goes along with the clean energy idea. Prestige, kind of going back to the wealth idea. It's a great color for a logo that you want to feel rich and um, kind of that longevity idea. We also get serenity from green, um, which is another part of that whole energy, um, kind of outdoors, things that are green seem fresh and alive. Um, so that's a, you know, why we see it a lot of times, I think for things like gum and mints, it's a refreshing um, and serene type of color. Now, yellow is our next color we have here. And you can see that yellow is also very attention grabbing. Um, yellow is seen as a very positive color, a very happy color. We get light with yellow. So a lot of times you'll see um, that for things that are wanting to be depicted as something that you kind of look towards, um, warmth is also associated with yellow. Motivation is associated with yellow. And creativity. So I see a lot of the idea of um, you know, in Sonic and the Cheerios, the idea of the food aspect um, being positive and trying to have that um, very unassuming and inviting color of yellow as part of their logo. We've also got orange, and orange is a very interesting color. It really um, reflects vitality. So you'll see it in different types of brands. It's almost, I would say orange is seen almost as kind of an alternative type of color because it's a great mix between yellow and red. So you get a lot of those different um, connotations kind of from each and meeting in the middle. Orange is seen as fun. So you have the sophistication of red with the fun, really playful, and maybe even younger feel that yellow has. Um, playful, again, um, I, I think that you see that uh, really coming through in like the Nickelodeon logo, the Fanta one we see down there. Um, exuberant, that is a great way to describe orange. It just feels very alive. So our next color is brown, and brown isn't really used very often, and part of the reasoning for that is that brown has some really specific meanings and connotations as well. We see a lot for these candy uh, logos because we have that strong association with, association with chocolate. Um, but brown also has an earth-like feel, which I think is a lot of why we see it in um, Louis Vuitton because of the leather feeling that they are going for. We get a very natural feeling with brown. Simplistic, so it feels a lot of times like that is a very basic color. You know, you kind of think of the color of dirt, it seems very simple. Um, but also brown is the color of durability, which I think is very interesting and kind of shows why maybe UPS chose to have brown as part of their um, logo colors in that they are um, saying that they kind of connote this sort of durability in the service that they're providing. Black is a very common color for logos, and we see it for a lot of different types of logos here. Also, black is sort of the 
first part of the design phase when you're designing in black um, you'll design something and then you might realize you know this um, doesn't really have a color that makes a lot of sense for it so let's leave it black and white um, that's going to be the most neutral a lot of times um, at least in certain cultures now we'll what we'll come to find is that um, it's polarizing in some cultures what the meaning of it is but a lot of these logos are black and white and because of that we're able to um, kind of have a balance there so we can see that black means prestige so we definitely get that from Giorgio Armani um, value is denoted by black timelessness sophistication but also death now that is a Western culture perception as we'll learn in a moment death is not perceived with black in other cultures now we also have white and white in Western culture again shows purity nobility clean and soft are some different meanings for white and you can see some of the different logos that we're maybe more used to seeing as white but again um, it's a black and white type of thing a lot of times it's one of those very reversible types of things so when you'll see this um, a lot of times it's going to maybe be one color or the other now let's talk really quickly about Western versus Eastern perceptions so in the Western world white is linked with purity and innocence red is linked with anger and black has that negative death connotation um, in some scenarios a lot of times in fashion especially black is going to be perceived as um, something that's good but whenever you have it in certain contexts black is seen as oh you know maybe that's a little bit scary in Eastern Eastern culture you don't see that in Eastern culture white actually has the link to mourning and death not black red is actually linked with happiness so a lot of you know in Chinese culture you see so so much red and yellow also so those are both linked with happiness whereas red is uh, anger in Western culture um, we, they don't have a negative view of the color black in Eastern culture the way that we do here as much so that's something to keep in mind when you're choosing those colors um, especially if it's a polarizing type of service that you are um, working on for that company it might be something that you don't want to choose a color that's going to be just black or just white at least primarily um, green is regarded as one of the safest colors to use in both markets and blue also has a pretty universal meaning so green has been used a lot in technology brands we also learned that it's a very um, it's, it's used quite a bit and part of that is just because it is such a safe color to use in both sides of the world 